but you're right. Here's the thing. It's like nobody can really tell what, you know, and I was around, you know, I saw a bunch of, you know, a few scouts, uh, you know, who have been scouting Otani just back when he was in high school. And that's all we were talking about was just like his makeup. Like, where do you think he is right now? And you're right. From that standpoint, nobody knows. Uh, you know, and again, if he's thinking the way he did five years ago, don't be surprised if he ends up with like a team like the Minnesota Twins or something, right? That has actually like a lot of young up and coming talent, right? It's a type of team, you know, when he, I do think that when he joined the Angels, he did it with the idea of like what he did with Nippon Ham, which is, you know, he got there, they were rebuilding because you Darvish had just left. It's a rebuilding young team. He's establishing, you know, it took him a few years to establish himself as a two-way player. And kind of by the time he's in the full swing of things, those young players on that team had kind of matured and they won a championship. I think that's like kind of like the ideal like vision, right? And and in Japan, that's kind of like the cool way, so to speak, to do things. It's like you get to a project when it's kind of at its beginning and you kind of go through the tough times and you eventually come out on top. Um, you know, so again, that would be like the very Japanese thing to do. Uh, you know, and the practical American thing to do, obviously, is to just, you know what, just, hey, my best chance to win is with the Dodgers or Yankees. Um, you know, maybe it's not, I don't quite get to be Michael Jordan, but at least I'm going to win, uh, you know, and enhance my legacy in that way. So, again, who knows what he's thinking? And I, I 100% agree with you. Big risk. You know, if, if that's the thinking that, hey, we better save our pennies for Otani, that is a huge risk in that standpoint.